presented by Turkish Airlines, Spalding, and Intersport. In the show, a man for all seasons, Devin Smith. Coach Svetislav Pesic is a winner wherever he goes. A star that needs no introduction, Vasilis Spanoulis. A player who came from the cold, Mindaugas Kuzminskas. And of course, the MVP of the round and the top three plays. Some dates have gained entry into the EuroLeague Hall of Fame. For example, April the 8th, 2004. Ten years have passed since Derek Sharp's super shot took Maccabi Tel Aviv into overtime against Jalgiris Kaunas. A win allowed them to proceed to the final four, after which they were crowned champions. With Maccabi down three points, they needed a real miracle. Borsellis uh, had just gotten into the game. There's 2.2 seconds left. He's going to take the ball out and he's telling me, there, there, go to the corner, go to the corner. I was just on the wing and I just, I didn't move. I don't know, I just stood there. I didn't move, he told me move. I said, no, I'm not moving. feel the moment again because it was so uh, out of body, you know. Uh, I didn't have time to think what to do. I didn't have a plan before. I just caught the ball, I dribbled, I shot it, you know, and the shot was not a shot that I usually shoot. I jumped, there was no real follow through. And two guys were jumping at me, it was crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy shot, unbelievable. It wasn't me. <laughs> I get all the credit, but God, you know, only God can, can make, you know, things like that. The fans at the Nokia Arena in Tel Aviv witnessed another miracle in round 12 of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Top 16. At the end of the third quarter in the game against Real Madrid, Devin Smith beat the buzzer from an incredible distance. I just saw the ball bounce out, you know, from the rebound. I just grabbed it and threw it up, you know. Uh, you never know what's going to happen in that situation. So when it went in, I was kind of surprised. I didn't know what to do, I didn't know how to react. I just looked at the bench and just threw my hands up, like, yeah. Arms to the air also for all the supporters of the Yellows. They are a unique crowd, so colourful and passionate, which makes playing in Tel Aviv so very special. The country rallies around the games and especially EuroLeague, you know, there's always a, a great feeling in the air come Thursday. They want to see your effort. They want to see you fight, they see you care. And uh, that's the way I like to play. Maccabi's coach is one of the most respected and well-prepared in the game and is a legend with the Yellows. He is the 54-year-old from Boston, USA, David Blatt. He allows you sometimes, you know, be the coach on the floor. If you see something that he might not see, he allows you to come to him and, uh, you know, and, and, and pick your brain a little bit. He's always... In the, in the office, you know, trying to figure out something new. Just seeing his work ethic, you know, allows everybody else to want to work the same type of way. Smith arrived in Tel Aviv in 2011. After three years working with Coach Blatt, they have an excellent understanding, thanks also to the American guard's ability to be an all-rounder and his hunger for success. I think I'm really versatile. So that allows me to do different things on the court, and I think that's the way you know Coach Blatt likes to use me. You 
know, one game if I have to make more baskets or get more rebounds, you know. It's whatever it takes, you know, all about winning for me. And uh, it's about sacrifice. Pre-match rituals are important for players, and Devin Smith is no exception to the rule. I usually listen to the same group of songs before the game, and I try to do the same things, get to the gym around the same time every game, especially for the home games, and go out to the court at the same time. So I just try to stick to uh, the same schedule. The Audi Dome in Munich hosted a virtual must-win game for both sides between FC Bayern and Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv. Malcolm Delaney was immediately on fire and he finished with a fabulous index rating of 35. At the other end of the court, Tyrese Rice led the Israeli team with 18 points. The game took off in the third quarter as Bryce Taylor managed a career high of 22 points, but the Yellows reacted with Alex Tyus close to a double-double at the final buzzer. Maccabi led at the end of the third quarter thanks to Ricky Hickman, and then the visitors held Bayern to one basket over a nine-minute stretch. Thanks to an amazing 13 of 18 three-pointers, Maccabi Electra beat Bayern Munich 92-94, and clinched a playoff berth for the fifth straight season, where they will face EA7 Emporio Armani Milan. He is one of the most successful European basketball coaches. He started coaching in 1982. Serbia is his homeland. He was born in Novi Sad. But after more than 30 years as a coach, he has become a symbol of German basketball. Svetislav Pezic has been coaching at FC Bayern Munich for the last two years. All my career, I looking new, new challenge. Uh, was always anywhere to, to see it is possible for this to, to make something special. Now this uh, project uh, from Bayern Munich, this is this is for me excellent. Coach Pezic's basketball reflects his philosophy on life, solid and fair. I am coach more than 30 years. Of course I have my philosophy, I have, let's say, my principle to don't depend from others, but to take this destiny in our hands and to say our opponent, hey, you, you should think about us, we don't want to think about you. To be a master of your own destiny and to achieve your objectives, you must respect strict rules. Self-discipline. This is one very important characteristic. Can help you uh, to be happy. If you practice good, uh, you have the chance to win the game. If you win the game, you are happy. If you want to win the game, you must prepare yourself. You must sleep enough, you must organize your, your, uh, your private life. The life of the athlete is a different life regarding other people. A different way and style of life, which is certainly envied by many fans, but that is also functional to the primary goal. My goal like coach is not only to win tonight the game or next game, my coach is to try to help the player to be better, to see a difference uh, between September where, or August where we start with practice and end of the season. However, to win and be happy, it is important not to be overwhelmed by the environment that surrounds you, created by the crowd and by the media. Pressure looks like negative, but pressure is one who can help you to improve your uh, responsibility, to take responsibility more than usually, and to practice more, to think more on the basketball. Of course, uh, young people, I can understand very good that basketball is not uh, only in their life, but basketball is first, of course. 
Although he has already raised the most prestigious trophies, including the Euroleague in 2003 with FC Barcelona, Pezic does not feel that he's made it. Improving is a must, not only for the players, but also for the coach. I learn yeah, every day. In the practice, you learn some details, uh, some important details uh, who, who can help you to be better, like coach. To turn the pressure into motivation is difficult for most people, but comes almost natural for someone that has a strong character, like coach Pizic. In my time uh, in Barcelona, uh, my president, John Laporta, said to me, Svetislav, but you know, you are a strong person. I say, yeah, what is the problem? I thought always that to be a strong person is positive. Why they, they doesn't like to strong person? Say, you know, it's uh, very difficult if you demand very concretely this, this, or this. Okay, so this is, if it is characteristic of a uh, strong person, then I like to, to be <laughs> in the future strong person. I look so. Ceska Moscow and Galatasaray Liv Hospital Istanbul faced each other in a very delicate game. The Russian team were fighting for the first place in Group F, while the Turkish team for a spot in the playoffs. After an early break by the guests, Ceska soon came back with some Sasha Kaun dunks. Another dunk by an outstanding Zoran Erseg, seven three-pointers made and a total of 35 points, two new club records, allowed Galatasaray to open up a gap, but the half finished all square. Two three-pointers in the last minutes by Manukar Markoishvili and Vitali Fridson, added to a couple of three throws from Erseg, made the score 67-67, forcing the overtime. Here, Sonny Weems scored all of his 12 points, taking Seska up by six, increased to seven with Milos Teldozic. Erseg and Sinan Guler responded immediately, but the final three throws handed Seska the win, 86-85. All teams have their leader, the star you want to give the ball to in the crucial moment. None have a champion of the caliber of Vasilis Panoulis. None but Olympiakos Pireos. A three-time Euroleague winner and MVP of all three respective Final Fours, Vasilis also dragged the Reds to victory in the last two editions. But, despite numerous triumphs, Kill Bill is still hungry for more. It is difficult uh, when uh, they give you the kiss and they say, you, uh, OK, now you are the guy that you have to lead the team to the trophies after so many years. I take all this pressure in my shoulders and uh, with the other guys, we took this club to the top. And uh, this is, for me, a very big achievement. But this is in the past. Now we have new things, so we have new, new motivation. I will look back only when I stop my career. It's difficult to say what is the true secret to the Greek guard born 31 years ago in Larissa. A mix of great skills and talent, which in order to be limited, requires an extra effort from opponents. Overcoming this is one of his trademarks. I'm not a guy that uh, has great percentages. All the time I have uh, two and three defenders on my face. Now I'm used to, to play with that. I have to be aggressive to take some people with me because 
If they don't take attention to me, I will go until the basket. If they pay attention to me, I will try to pass to my open teammate. Behind his average size, his modesty and balanced personality lies Vasilis' biggest weapon, an incredible mental strength. Nothing can back me down, nothing can uh, make me uh, to feel bad. This game is not only win. To be a true winner, you have to know to lose. For me, winner is who fall down and can be again back and stronger and stronger. This is for me is a true winner. You know, that is all my life. A lot of times I, I fell down, but uh, you know, I always stand up and I always be stronger and stronger every time. To help him come back after tough periods and to push him to give his very best, the Olympia Costa looks for comfort in a very special ally. I pray before the game, I become from a religious family. I take uh, bigger strength and power and uh, uh, inspiration from praying and, uh, you know, I'm blessed uh, only that uh, I keep playing this game. Among the many curiosities that characterize the King of Piraeus, one concerns his private life. The three children he had with Miss Greece 2006, Olympia Shopsonido, were born in the three years in which Vasilis won the EuroLeague. This is, this is something unbelievable and this is some, I don't know, destiny or a lucky or I don't know what it is. I'm not uh, now going from, uh, for the fourth one, but uh, if I know that uh, my wife is pregnant again, my confidence will be <laughs> rise up. <laughs> With his children and all basketball fans, Vasilis Panoulis shares the beliefs he has learned out on the court. If you deserve something, uh, you will take it. Uh, Maybe you will be a little bit tired, maybe it will take you more time to, uh, to make it, but uh, in the end of the day, if you are patient and you work hard and uh, you believe in that, you will take it. Unikaha Malaga's forward Mindaugas Kuzminskas moved from Lithuania, his home country, to Spain. This change of scenery initially proved to be a bit of a shock to his system. I thought that maybe it would be a little bit easier to adapt, but you know, all the people in the club, all the people around the city, they tried to help me, you know, and right now I feel much more better. Time has been his biggest ally because from the regular season to the top 16, he has doubled his average in scoring. It wasn't an easy start to the season for Mindaugas, but he kept his head down and eventually the hard work started to pay off. It's everything in your head is psychology. Because, for example, I think, you know, I don't have so much things to do here in Malaga because, you know, I'm far away from my home, so, you know, I can work more on my shot and everything, and I do that. And my, cent my percentage was lower than, than last season, you know. I start season not so good, you know, and I, I, I really stress myself because, you know, that's first year abroad and, you know, I'm not playing good, I'm not happy by myself, everybody's not happy with me. Things are step by step getting better, you know. I want to play much more better than I'm doing now also, and, and I hope that in the future it will be, and what I can promise to all the people in the fans that I will work hard, hard to, to, to do that. Much of the credit must go to his coach, Johan Plaza, who has managed to create a good bond within the team and also on a personal level. Well, I was with him last season, you know, I like him pretty much. That's why I came to Malaga also when I knew that, you know, he, he is a coach. Of course, he is different than other coaches, you know, starting with that, that you know, he's writing books, you know, <laughs> and, fin and fin finishing with, with other things, you know, because Sometimes you can talk uh, with him as a friend if you have some if you have some problems. We have a lot of foreigners, like from from Brazil, Lithuania, you know, Serbia, Slovenia, all over all over the, the world, you know, different people, different cultures. 
with our team right now is really like a family. We support each other, you know, coaches support us. A lot has changed for the 25-year-old since moving away from Kaunas, from the temperature to his day-to-day -day life. But the most important thing remains what happens on the court. Different style of life here in, in Lithuania, you know. We don't see so much sun in, in autumn and winter, you know, all the people are a little bit depressed. And here, you know, everybody relax, you know, if you ask something, manana, manana, you know, <laughs> they're really, really, really relaxed people. But we came here not to enjoy weather and lay in the beach, we came here, you know, to, to play basketball. Almost all his colleagues, Mindaukas is active on the social networks, but it's not something he wants to get carried away with. You can converse with the people who want to talk with you or, or some fans or something, but sometimes I feel on myself that you know I spend too much time on that. For example, we just land in the airport with all the team, you know, and everybody starts to looking at their phones, you know. There are good sides, but there are also bad sides. On the night when his Panathinaikos Athens sealed their place in the playoffs after defeating Unicaja Malaga at home by 69-60, Dimitris Diamantidis earned the B-Win MVP award of round 13 of the top 16. The soon-to-be 34-year-old Turkish Airlines Euroleague legend reached a performance index rating of 31 the highest among the winning teams, managed not only thanks to his points total, but also by the numerous other stats picked up, as is customary for Dimitris. He did score 13 points, missing just one shot of his six from the floor, adding one free throw. Other than that, the 2010-2011 MVP added six assists and four rebounds, drew eight fouls plus one block in his 30 minutes on the floor. And now let's check out the top three plays of the week. Number three, Moscow, Russia. The EuroLeague's master of value persists here again. Carlos Arroyo up for Malik Hairston. Easy dunk for him. Carlos Arroyo couldn't have placed it better. Number two, Munich, Germany. The final seconds of a crucial game. Maccabi leading by three. Nihad Jedovic goes up for Bayern. But there is Alex Tyus to deny him, edging his team to a win. And the number one play of the week from Vitoria, Spain. Big win for Labral Kutcher. Pepe Poeta sends it up. And the big alley -oop reverse dunk from Adam Hanger. Spectacular stuff from Labral Kutcher, Vitoria. The play of the week is from Adam Hanger. The Peace and Friendship Stadium of Piraeus will host the last top 16 game of the week next Thursday when Olympiakos and Panathinaikos Athens will meet in a sizzling and crucial game to decide their final position in the Group E table. Panathinaikos won the match played at the Oaka 66-62 at the end of an intense and tough battle. The Greens took the lead with 46 seconds left with a free throw from Dimitris Diamantidis. Then James Gist and Stefan Lazme sealed the win for the home team, also from the foul line. Lazme nailed 18 points for the winners, while Georgios Printes is back 10 for the Reds. It is a battle between the winners of the last three Euroleagues. Between the MVPs, Vasilis Panoulis and Dimitris Diamantidis, in what promises to be a spectacular night of basketball entertainment. Don't 
miss the next game of the week between Olympiakos Piraeus and Panathinaikos Athens. Presented by Turkish Airlines, Spalding, and Intersport.